Hey hockey player, and welcome to the upper body workout that's going to make you strong on the puck. In this workout, we're going to be working on the entire upper body, and it's going to be broken up into three different segments. We're going to do a tri-set, and then we're going to do another tri-set, and then we're going to finish off with a finisher that I have in store for you. Up first, we're going to be doing a combination of yoga push-ups, YTWs, and X-ups. Do the exercises all back to back with no rest in between and then we're going to rest 90 seconds in between rounds. Get ready, first up is the yoga push up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go, 10 reps of the yoga push up. Keep it going, see how he's getting a good stretch in the back. You want to get that every single time in the hamstrings but also in the shoulders. Get that shoulder extension, come all the way down for the push up. Once you've completed all 10 reps here, we're then going to be moving on to the YTWs. On to the Y. You see Kevin's thumbs pointing up. That's key focus. That's what I want you doing. Always think open can. Make a Y motion. Bring your shoulder blades together with every single rep. We're going to be doing 10 reps per letter. Once you've done all 10 reps on the Y, move immediately to the T. And just like you would expect, you're going to be making a T with your body, but don't forget those thumbs up every time. I want you to think open can, because if you had an open can, it would spill if your hand was like this or like this. Think you've got fluid in a can the whole way so that you're pointing your thumbs to the ceiling. Moving on to the W where you're going to make a W symbol with your body every single time. Contract your upper back. Bring those shoulder blades together. This is an excellent, excellent exercise to work the upper back. Next up is the X ups. We're going to do 10 per side here. Make your body an X on the ground and then bring your opposite arm to opposite leg up 10 times per side. Hockey is very dependent on cross-directional power pathways. It's very important that in order to optimize things such as our shot power, that we work cross-directionally because when you biomechanically assess the shot, it is a cross-directional movement pattern. All 10 are done, rest 90 seconds. Five seconds left, get ready. Three, two, one. We're back at it. Yoga push-ups. Try and make this one smooth motion. Don't make it the downward dog and then the push-up and then some movement in between. Try and make this look fluid. You're an athlete here, I want you to move like an athlete. 10 full reps of the yoga push-up, getting full extension of the legs, full extension of the shoulder, and all the way to the ground for every push-up, going right into the YTWs. Remember, you guys, no rest in between exercises. We want a lot of strength out of this workout because this is all about stopping power and staying strong on the puck, but we also want to get a little bit of a conditioning effect out of this. We are doing a tri-set here. We want to have a little bit of labored breathing. We want to keep moving, making sure with every single YTW that our mind never leaves our upper back. You're not just moving. 
you're contracting your upper back with every movement. That mind-muscle connection needs to be strong if you want to get every last ounce of progress out of your body weight only training. Always focus on the muscle that's working and I promise you, you'll isolate it so much better. Moving right into the X-ups, another one that's important to focus on. The X-ups and a lot of core movements, you can kind of just momentum your way through it sometimes, but that's not the goal of the movement. The goal of the movement isn't just to go from A to B. The goal of the movement is to get the most out of A to B. Focus on your core, cross-directionally move, 10 per side, but don't forget to breathe. Always breathing throughout this entire thing, and that is an awesome job. You've done 10 per side, 90 seconds rest starts now. Get ready. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last round here. Let's go. Finish this first superset, sorry, this first triset off strong. 10 reps, all back to back to back, quality over quantity. Make sure every movement you're doing is a quality movement. Again, we're not just going from A to B, we're getting the most out of A to B. Always have your mind focused on technique, getting right into the YTWs. Let's go. Mind always in the upper back. Don't just rest, don't just throw your arms up. Make sure your upper back's contracting at the top of the movement, but even at the bottom of the movement. Even when your, your hand has touched the ground, you're still thinking about your back. It's got an isometric contraction. It's got nonstop tension, muscle tension, time under tension. Keep breathing but keep going. Let's go. Banging out the T's now. Getting them done. Almost at the W's. Now at the W's. Let's go. Let's go. Keep up with Kevin here. Keep up with Kevin's pace. Keep up with Kevin's movement quality as well. Keep everything on point. This is what it takes to be an awesome, awesome hockey player. Once you've got all 10 reps done, flip over. Let's do the X-ups. Let's go. Get these done. 10 per side. This is the last round of X-ups you're going to do. So make it the best one. I always say, make the last round look like the first round. You should look as fresh. The movement should be as clean. Everything should be on point. Even when you're getting tired, that's more important that you keep it quality. All right? Keep breathing and let's go. Get that 10 per side in and then you got your 90 seconds rest before we move on to the next try set. Awesome, awesome job. 90 seconds rest starts now.
All right, get that last sip of water in. You've got 10 seconds left. I want to let you know we're going to be doing pike push-ups, reverse snow angels, and renegade row. 10 reps of all of them. Three, two, one. Pike push-ups. Let's go. Turn your body into a shoulder press machine. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're working the triceps and we're working the shoulders. Very important for fighting others off the puck and staying strong in front of the net. You need these muscles to be strong. You need these muscles to be endurance. Right when you've done those final 10 reps, move on to the reverse snow angel. Our friend, the upper back is activated again, but now we're gonna be running it through a rotational movement pattern. Thumbs up in the front, thumbs down in the back. You see Kevin's rotational pattern there. That's what you want to have for every single rep. Thumbs up in the front, thumbs down in the back. You see how his chest is up, his whole back is contracted through the whole movement, okay? Make your muscles work, find that hurt box. Once you've done all 10 reps here, you're gonna move into what's known as the renegade row. Renegade row, very advanced, very difficult exercise. Get in push-up position and do as minimal rocking as you can. Your job is to try and make it look like I could put a coffee on your back and it wouldn't spill. Whereas someone who's doing a renegade row incorrectly would be doing a lot of rocking with every single row movement. But this is what's known as an anti-rotation core movement. You can think about it like a moving plank, if you will. What you're gonna do is try and stay totally stable and just bring your arms up 10 per side. All right, nice work. 90 seconds rest starts now. All right, get yourself ready. You've got 10 seconds. Get your final deep breaths in. Take that final sip of water if you need it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, pike push-ups. 10 reps here, 10 reps. Try and get that full range of motion. Your head should never touch the ground, but it should be incredibly close, like one centimeter. You wanna get as much range of motion as you can out of this movement. 10 reps, all back to back. I know you can do it. Awesome job. Let's go reverse snow angels. Stay contracted. You see in Kevin's entire body is tight here. His legs aren't relaxed. His lower back, mid back, upper back isn't relaxed. His arms are doing the right rotational movements, heads off the ground. There's all total contraction here. And that's what I want you to think in your mind. Time under tension for the entire posterior side of your body or the entire back side of your body. Do 10 reps all like that. Get as much as you can out of this movement. And once you've got that, right into Renegade Row. Let's go, let's go, 10 per side. Contract and stabilize your core. That's what this is all about, it's anti-rotation. When I say anti-rotation, while you're doing this movement, what does anti-rotation mean to you out in the ice? It means no one can push you. You're anti-rotatable. If I pushed your shoulder, or if I body checked you, or if I tried to knock you off the puck, I tried to be stronger than you during a face-off. No, you're the anti-rotation stability block. No one is gonna be able to move you because you did the right training to not be moved. Rest starts now.
Get yourself ready. Last round of this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Pike push ups. Again, make this look like your first round. Quality, quality, quality. We're not holding our breath. We're not trying to go too fast. We're keeping our breath movement rhythmic. We're keeping all of our movement rhythmic. Right into the reverse snow angels. Working the entire back side of the body. You can see the entire back side of his body is contracted right now. What's the back side of your body responsible for? Your posture. What's going to help keep you strong on the puck? Your posture. When you have that strong back side of your body maintaining your posture, it means you can't be knocked off of your posture. When you can't be knocked off, then you are going to be the one who is stronger on the puck every single time. You need a strong back if you want to be an excellent and strong hockey player. Moving into the renegade row, final round of this one. You are do not doing any more renegade rows after this. So do as much as you can here, all right? If you're in the pain zone right now, it can only last so long. That's something I always say in my head, it can only last so long, it can only last so long because it's gonna be a mere matter of seconds until you're done and yet it's these seconds that matter the most. Let's go, 10 per side, keep it quality, keep breathing, all right? Awesome job, 90 seconds and then we're moving into your finisher, let's go. Ten seconds, get ready for the finisher. What we're gonna do here is ten per side of push-up bird dogs. Three, two, one, let's go. Push-up with bird dog. Now if you notice, through your triceps, you are doing pressing back core. You did that for the first triceps and the second triceps. Press back core. Now we're moving into the bird dog. It is press back and core all in one. This is why it's our finisher. Let's go. Get full extension of your arm and your leg. Don't ever let either of them just hang. Full extension. Up, full extension. You should be reaching for the ceiling with these. Push up all the way down. Get 10 per side. Moving. Keeping your breath. Your core, your back, and your pressing muscles are all working at the same time. This is the finisher for a reason. You gotta give it. You're done after this, all right? Nice, nice, awesome job. You absolutely killed this workout. That's gonna keep you strong on the puck.